Plants don't want to be eaten, just like animals don't want to be eaten. Animals, however, can defend themselves by either attacking you or running away from you. Plants don't have that advantage, but don't believe for a second that they are defenseless organisms. The truth is, plants defend themselves by producing chemicals that are poisonous to potential predators, such as insects, bacteria, animals, or humans. The truth is, plants are master chemists, and the wide range of toxic chemicals that they produce are also referred to as anti-nutrients. Some anti-nutrients include the following. Number one, glucosinolates. These are found in cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts. They have several negative health effects. Notably, they produce mustard oils that could harm heart health. They also slow down your thyroid function, and contrary to popular belief, cooking cruciferous vegetables does not improve its negative effect on your thyroid. Number two, lectins. These are sugar-binding proteins that have wide-ranging negative health effects. They can decrease absorption of minerals like calcium, iron, phosphorus, and zinc. They can also lead to weight gain by inducing leptin resistance, which leads you to feel hungrier overall. Where are lectins found? They are found in things like wheat, corn, oats, rice, and quinoa. In other words, in the grains. They are also found in legumes, such as soybeans, lentils, chickpeas, kidney beans, black-eyed peas, and peanuts. Number three, phytic acid or phytate. These bind to and prevent the absorption of minerals such as iron, zinc, magnesium, and calcium. Number four, amylase inhibitors. These are found in beans and they inhibit starch digestion. This could lead to maldigestion, which is bad news for gut health. Number five, saponins. Saponins are found in white potatoes, in legumes, and in whole grains. They interfere with nutrient absorption and they poke holes in your gut lining, thereby increasing what we call leaky gut, also known as intestinal permeability. Number six, oxalates. Oxalates are found in chocolate, coffee, tea, dark green leafy vegetables such as spinach, so I would think twice before chugging a green smoothie in the morning. Oxalates bind to calcium and can also increase your risk for kidney stones. Number seven, tannins. Tannins are found in tea, coffee, and legumes. They decrease iron absorption. And lastly, trypsin inhibitors. These are found in soybeans. They reduce the digestion and absorption of proteins. So if your goal is to eat more healthfully, you may want to reconsider the traditional dietary advice that we have been given for decades, as it may be at odds with the animal heavy diet that our ancestors consumed for 99.99% .99 of our existence as a species here on earth. To learn more about what constitutes a healthy diet, check out this video on a ketovore diet meal plan that I have filmed. I will also link it in the description box below. Now, while I recommend focusing on a more whole foods, animal-based diet, if you insist on including a lot of plant foods in your diet, you may want to look into a protective supplement that can help your body's defenses against these plant toxins. I will link these supplements in the description box below. I will also link items in the description box that I think you might be interested in, such as this Amazon Halo Fitness Tracker, these earrings that I am wearing, and also scientific references for some of the content that I have covered. All right, that's it for this video. If you like this content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.